What's up guys? Nerdy Noob here and I'm extremely excited because I have a brand new unboxing video for you. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the 2016 April Loot Crate DX. I don't know why they have this big square here. It says handle with care, but then there's nothing. Is that where they, oh, I bet you that's where they wanted to put the shipping label. Do you think? That's kind of odd. I don't know. I just noticed that. Anyways, oh, here we go. That's a better look. Loot Crate DX. This is a brand new box from Loot Crate. It was freaking expensive. I don't remember how much it costs. Let's see. I wish I had all that stuff ready for you, but I just got so excited. I didn't even really look into it. Here we go. One month plan. $44. 99 plus five dollars shipping and handling and I'm sure the shipping and handling is just for US customers or international it's probably more expensive but $44.99 a month plus five dollars shipping and handling that's $49.99 per month three month plan is $43.99 plus five dollars shipping and handling per box which equals a total of $48.99 per month and that means you would have to pay $146.97 up front. Six month plan is $42.99 a month plus $5 shipping and handling, which is $47.99 a month, and you would have to pay $287.94 up front. The one year plan is $41.99 a month plus the $5 shipping per box, which equals $46.99 per month, and that means you have a total of $563.88 due at the time of sign up. So this is a very, very pricey box. For continuous subscription box, this is extremely expensive. Basically $50. It is $50, not basically. Use my knife. No more talking, because I know you guys don't really like that. Let's go ahead and crack into this box. Uh, if you're interested in getting this box, I'm gonna put all of those pricing details in the description below. Oh my gosh, I didn't even like redo my background or anything. Look how terrible this is. Ugh. Okay, that's better. Here we go. Once you get the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, this box is, oh. Oh, fancy paper. Look at them copying geek feel with the thick paper. Do they go, I don't know if they go under the same theme as everything else. Everything else had a theme of quest. I don't know if this is the same though. How's it look? There's been a lot of talk about Loot Crate and this box, this box is really hyped up. The actual Loot Crate box this month wasn't that great and a lot of people think it's because of the new DX box, which is true when the level up program started, the Loot Crate box sucked for like three months. They didn't want to give a shirt because they wanted you to buy the level up. So I'm hoping that's not the case with this box and then Loot Crate and all that, but we'll see how it goes. Can I just say, first off looking at it, I'm, a, I'm already a little bit depressed because I'm sure they have really nice items, but it doesn't look like there's that many items. The first thing that we have though is from World of Warcraft, their lead-free crystal lowball glasses. So take a look at those. Does that light help a little bit? I know it turns me a little bit more yellow, but I think it gives more lighting. What do you guys think? Uh, I think I like it more like that. Okay, let's take these out. Again, I don't play World of Warcraft, but these are really nice glasses. So that's the first glass. Here's the second glass. Whoa, almost dropped it. That was a close one. Like I always say, I might not know a lot about World of Warcraft, but I know about useful products, and these are useful products. Although they are hand wash only, I cannot put them in the dishwasher, and that is sad. Oh, I thought this was an item. That makes me even more sad. The next item that we have is, whoa. This is a kid robot Loot Crate exclusive from Adventure Time. Now, many of you guys know I do not watch Adventure Time, and I know a lot of you guys say, we need a beamling background because I like him, okay? So this is a mashup vinyl figure. He looks like he glows in the dark. Yes, he does. And this is of Finn wearing a Jake jacket with a BMO Walkman. And I want you to know that I, I totally, that get I guessed it. I mean, I used this picture, but there's no like, oh, there is. It's right here. There's no like description. Puff, Jake, and Lil Finn. Puff Jake and Little Finn. What? I guess that's the name of this thing. I don't know what that means. Look at me nailing the Adventure Time reference because I'm good like that and I know the characters. No, I'm really not that great with it, but oh my god, this is hilarious. This is so freaking funny. I got so much crap from you guys about this and look what I got. The next item is a two-pack of 20-sided chilling dice. So what these are is you freeze them 
and then you put them in your highball glasses with your whiskey or whatever people drink and they're supposed to keep your drink cold without diluting them and I think it's hilarious because you guys saw my loot crate and I got the 20 sided actually they gave us a 20 sided dice ice cube mold so they're kind of contradicting themselves there that was not very smart but these are cool and you don't necessarily have to use them for that look you can use them as the that like the Chinese balls that you roll in your hand you know you guys know what I'm talking about you get them at Chinatown and they have different sizes, you guys know. But this is a cool item. These things are usually expensive when you get them like, sometimes you can get the ones that are like a ball, but this is neat. And they're from Dungeons and Dragons, the greatest game in the whole world, where you use 20 sided dice to play. I obviously didn't research that game very much. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> look at this pin. They only give you even one thing, I don't even know if that's enough to hold it up. So. We have April 2016. It did follow the same theme as the other Loot Crate and Level Up. It is Quest. So that's kind of good to know. If you guys are interested in getting this box, make sure you check out what the main theme is and see if you like it. There you go. There's the, the pin. It's like ginormous. It's of a compass and it's literally huge. I'm, I'm surprised they didn't give you two pin things because I don't know if one's even going to hold this pin. It's big. Very big. The next one that we got is some kind of print. Is this from Dungeons and Dragons? I have no idea. I'm not even going to open it because I don't want to mess it up. The one thing that you can't really tell when looking at it with the plastic is the print is kind of metallic-y. Like the paint on the print is kind of metallic-y. I guess that maybe makes it a little bit nicer. Yeah, it's just like shiny or it's printed on shiny paper. It's kind of like a little bit thicker than cardstock, but nothing crazy. It's of a dragon blowing fire at this flying thing. So there's that. And then the last item is the shirt. We have a black shirt. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, it's not a shirt. <gasps> Ooh. So this is like the shirt hoodie. We got one of these in our level up that was Space Invaders themed. This is from Legend of Zelda. It's the Triforce symbol. Can you see it? There you go. There it is. So that's the back of it. And on the front, it just has the left pocket design. These are really, really cool because they're kind of the same thickness of a shirt. So it's almost like a long sleeve shirt. It's basically a long sleeve shirt that has a hoodie. That's basically what it is, right? Or a hood, sorry. It's not thick at all. It's very soft, but it is a, a long sleeve shirt. These are great for when it's kind of cold and you want to wear a long sleeve shirt, kind of like a thinner long sleeve shirt, and then you want to have a hood. This is perfect. So that is a very, very cool item. So those are all the items. Let's go ahead and do a recap. I don't know if I'm ready to do pricing, but let's go ahead and do a recap. The first time that we had, oh, it'll be a quick recap because there wasn't many items. First time that we had is our glow-in-the-dark exclusive Adventure Time Puff, Jake, and Lil Finn Kid Robot vinyl figure. Don't worry, the Lich King hasn't struck. It's very special Adventure Time vinyl figure. These glowing buddies will help light up your treehouse or desk. Again, I'm not a huge fan of Adventure Time, but this is really cool. I really like this figure a lot. Next we have our Legend of Zelda jersey hoodie. Represent your Hyrule pride with this soft jersey hoodie that's light enough for summer and great for layering. And this is a licensed Nintendo product. <sighs> then we have our exclusive print. Even dragons have their endings print. Named in honor of one of the biggest influencers on Quest Stories, J.R.R. Tolkien, this original piece by frequent Loot Crate collaborator Kel Membrano can only be found here. Display it proudly. We got our set of World of Warcraft lowball glasses. Sip into these lead-free crystal glasses bearing the crest of the Horde and the Alliance. While they may be hardy, a trip through the dishwasher is one adventure that won't end well. AKA, you have to hand wash them. I think I remember you guys talking about this in the comment section, who was on Horde and the Alliance, and apparently not many people are on the Alliance, except I do have some viewers that are part of the Alliance, and I've decided that I'm gonna be part of the Alliance too. So somebody let me know what that even means. And then the last item that we have is our D20 Chilling Dice. Every drink can be a constitution check, so what better way to keep your cocktail cool than this playful twist on whiskey stones? Oh, whiskey stones, that's what those other things are called. And then we had our pin. It's our loot pin. Greetings, fellow travelers, and welcome to Loot Crate DX's Founders Crate. We're kicking things off by celebrating life's sometimes unexpected adventures with Quest, and we've included the glasses for the toast. So there's a little pamphlet on cardstock. That's everything in the box. Uh, before we go into pricing, I just want to say that this box is really expensive. I'm sure that I got my money's worth, but it's a little bit disappointing because it only had five items in it. Six if you count the pin, 
but then one of them was a print. And I'm not saying the print's bad, but you know, prints sometimes are just kind of prints. So I'm not quite sure what it's gonna be worth, but let's go ahead and check it out. Now this kid robot thing is giant, first of all, and it's an exclusive. I usually give these things about $10, but because it's an exclusive, I've decided, you know, if you've seen some of my other videos, I'm gonna give it $12. But the disclaimer is that I bet you it's going to be worth a lot more. I don't know how much it's going to be worth because it just depends on how much people want to sell it for when they open their box. But I'm going to give it $12. You probably might be able to give it $15. The loot crate dice that are like the whiskey stones, um, I would probably give these, I'm saying, I'm thinking in between $6 to $7. I know whiskey stones are kind of expensive, but I don't know if I'd pay any more than that. So I'm going to say $6.50. This loop pin is really huge and a lot bigger than the regular pin, so I'm gonna say $4.50 for that because I don't wanna give it $5. That seems like too much. These lead cups, now cups are expensive. Usually you get a set of four cups for $20. When you get like the nice whiskey cups, I would say four cups for $20. These are a little bit nicer because they have the emblem, although you can't wash them in the dishwasher. I would probably give these, I'm thinking like 13 at most. I know they're licensed, so you might be able to give it a teeny bit more. And then this hoodie thing. Now, they gave us something very similar, and I actually like the one they gave us better, the uh, the Space Invaders one. That was in the wearable, which is $15, which means that this is probably, they probably got these made around the same price. So I'm going to give this $15, but I definitely think I liked the, um, the Space Invader design a little bit better. This one's cool because it's very subtle but nothing crazy. And then this print, I mean, I literally have no, I usually give prints a dollar, but it does look a teeny bit nicer. So I'm gonna give it, there's no like autograph or anything. I'm gonna give it $3. I know I'm gonna get yelled at. I'm looking at how much I think this box is worth and I feel like I, I either really undervalued a lot of things. I mean, I always undervalue things, but I must have really undervalued things. So I'm gonna kinda do a teeny bit of recon. I'm sure somebody's already selling this online. Yes, they are. And they are selling it for, it looks like it's going for basically $30. Oh gosh, these people are selling it for 60. 25, $30, 30, oh, this one you can get for $27. So it looks like $27 is about the cheapest. I gave it 12. I'm gonna be nice and add three more dollars to that to make it 15. Don't yell at me, I'm sorry. Let's see how much people are selling these glasses for. This is the funny thing about these things that I've decided, because people are like, oh, if you got those online, there'd be so much money there's hard to get. They're, they're exclusive. The second that somebody opens these boxes, literally it goes up on eBay. You can you can find all of this stuff. So, and in a while, like right now, of course it's expensive, but if you wait a little bit, it'll drop down, trust me. $57, really? That's ridiculous. Oh my gosh, people are trying to sell these for like $50. Okay, $40, $27.50. What? What did I give these? $12? Let's let's read let's I'm gonna redo the pricing. Okay. I'm giving this thing $15. That's so high. I feel terrible. I feel like a terrible person. $15 for that. <sighs> I don't okay. I'm gonna be really nice. I'm you guys, I'm being really nice with this box, so just bear with me. I'm gonna give these $15. This pin, I'll give $5. And then these dice. Really, guys? People are selling these for $35 online? Okay, here's a better one. 18, 19, 20, 20, 22. Okay, did somebody sell 15? Okay, that's $10 plus $5. I mean, okay, that's a lot better. I'm going to give these things, I don't remember what I gave. I'm going to give them $10. I'm pricing this box almost like how you guys want me to price it, but not really, but kind of. I'm still only giving the shirt $15 because, because, and then I'm gonna give this print $3 still. I don't know if I told you guys this, but the first time I priced everything, I got $54. My really extremely nice pricing gave them $63. So we'll go with that, although I think that I highly price things way too high, especially for me. I think it's way too high, but we'll go with that. What did I say? $63. So this box cost me $50, $63. That means $13 more than my value. Mm, I think it could have been better. And I know, I know what you're going to say. Well, look, you, everything costs $30. Well, everything costs $30 because it just, it just came out and people are trying to make a killing. So don't be one of those people that goes on eBay right now and buys any of this stuff because you're going to get ripped off. Wait a little bit. Trust me. A lot of people got this box. Don't worry about it. Prices will drop. Please do not pay the ridiculous amount of money that people are trying to sell these items for. That's ridiculous. So $63, it's decent. $63 is $13. You know, I would have hoped for at least $15 for this box. At least $15. What did they say? Didn't they say it was going to be worth triple the value? Triple the value? 
gosh, I don't even know what would have made this worth $150. I think that's ridiculous. See, this is why I don't price things like what people want me to do. Like, oh, this shirt at the store, it would cost $40 MSRP. And these things would cost $20 MSRP. And this thing would cost $30 MSRP. And this thing would cost $30. No. No. I'm not going to price things at MSRP because that's stupid. That is ridiculous. That is overpriced. That's crazy. So I'm saying $63, which means that I'm a little bit disappointed with the box. I was already disappointed with just only five items. Not that I want them to give me more items with at lesser value or anything, but mm, I don't know. I feel like they could have done better for their first box. The first box is supposed to be like, wow, and I don't think that they gave that to me. If I had to rate this, I would probably, I would probably give it a uh, probably like a 3.6 out of 5 noobs, somewhere between a 3.5 and a 3.75. I like the items, don't get me wrong. I really do like the items a lot. And they're useful items, so whether or not I like World of Warcraft or Dungeons and Dragons, I like alcohol that I can put into glasses with chilled things that will keep it cold. And I actually really like this figure, even though I'm not a huge Adventure Time fan, I really like this figure. Very creative. I like the look of it. I like just the design in general. I just like that. The print is whatever for me. The pin is whatever for me, although it is a huge pin. And the shirt is cool, but not super amazing for me because I'm not the biggest uh, Zelda fan. I know there's some of you out there who really like Zelda. So yeah, I would say just 3.6 out of 5 noobs. I think that they can do a lot better. Uh, what I'd like to see more from them is more items, better value. That's it. More items and better value. More so the better value because at $50, I want to, I should be getting at least $20 extra. I mean, 15 at least, but 20, come on. That should be doable. Alright guys, I feel like there's going to be a lot of backlash with this video because I already know you guys are going to be like, oh, you printed it really poorly. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go ahead and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. I know a lot of you guys asked if I got this box. Obviously, I did get it. Do you think it was worth it? I know I price things differently, so if you were to price it your way, what do you, is it worth $150? <laughs> If, if you think it's worth $150, please give me a breakdown of how much you're giving each item because I literally will look it up with those prices and I just think that's ridiculous, $150. I think that's ridiculous. But I will still stick with this box. I think I got a three-month subscription to it. I can't remember, but I think I got a three-month subscription to it. So I'm kind of stuck with it. But it'll be interesting to see, you know, how it goes. I don't know if I'm going to keep this box very long. I didn't really have a whole lot of interest in it, but obviously it's a new Loot Crate box. I know a lot of you guys want to see what was in it, so that's why I got it. But we'll see. If next month is good, then potentially I might keep it. I'm not quite sure. I'm still debating. But anyways, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for um, watching and subscribing and supporting and I love you guys and I hope you have a great night and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Oh wait, can you also put in the comment section below what you guys thought about my new lighting? Did you like it? No? Should I put my little side lamp on? Do you like when I look like an Oompa Loompa?